Those deadly storms that are tearing through the Midwest in the Northeast overnight, killing at least five people. Take a look at the giant storm cloud that's moving over New York City. Hundreds of thousands are without power this morning. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Mawa, New Jersey, where a tree collapsed on a home. Good morning, Gio. Yeah, good morning, Michael. Just an incredible scene here. Just take a look at how big this tree is, okay? Now look at what this tree did to this garage. In fact, there's an antique car in there. You could probably see the license plate. Incredibly, the owner was working on that car just an hour before this tree came crashing down. He's okay. He went into the house. But boy, what a dangerous situation across the Northeast. This was the moment that powerful and deadly storm began to wail. You can hear the wind whipping through the trees as debris began to fly. Torrential rains making it nearly impossible to see. Lightning striking alarmingly close to this highway. And a traveler at a Connecticut airport posting this photo. In some cities, every single road shut down. We have trees into houses, people trapped between trees on the roads, trees on cars, uh, everything you can think of. Trees downed, cars crushed, and streets completely swamped. I've never seen anything like this. Plus, thousands of travelers stranded as the evening commute came to a screeching halt. We left D.C. at 5.40 p.m. Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. Overnight, this train trapped by floodwaters just outside Washington, D.C., marooning passengers for hours. The water was, was rising and yeah. it became kind of, it was kind of, it got kind of scary for me. The massive downpour creating a state of emergency in parts of New York and flash flooding in Baltimore. Dozens of people stranded by the rising water. This picture from the Frederick News Post shows a child being pulled to safety after he and his family got trapped in a minivan. And this man was rescued after getting swept away in his car. And again, at least five people were killed in this storm. And it just underscores how important it is to get inside a safe building because they were killed because they were inside cars when the trees came crashing down. Michael. All right. Thank you so much, Gio. And that massive storm system is also causing problems this morning. G Gina, Ginger is tracking it all in Ginger. Good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. And at least 360 severe storm reports, so many of them from that wind damage. Then the flash flooding. That's the next thing that we've got to worry about. More than a dozen rescues just in Frederick, Maryland alone. You can see three to six plus inches of rain fell very quickly, and that's going to happen for more folks today. Let me explain what's going on here. That same stationary front that has caused all of this low pressure systems riding along it, kicking up the atmosphere's energy, that's going to keep staying stationary and sit right over the mid-Atlantic. As it's draped there, it's going to allow that low that's coming out of the Gulf to push moisture up toward it and it's going to squeeze and you'll see training thunderstorms just wound after round dropping up to four inches. Robin? I want everybody to stay safe. All right, Ginger, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.